On April 20, 2010, 205 million gallons of oil began flowing into the Gulf of Mexico. For three months, we strongly debated our crippling dependency on oil. But what if the explosion never happened? What would we have done with all that oil? Almost half of it would have been processed into gasoline. Enough fuel for 750,000 cars to drive from New York to LA. 37 million gallons of the spilled oil would have turned into diesel. That same amount of fuel could keep one semi-truck driving nonstop for 536 years. 16 million gallons would have been converted into jet fuel. That's enough to circle the globe over 3,000 times on a large commercial plane. 10 million gallons of the spill would have been processed into 20,000 tons of plastic. That amount of plastic could make enough milk jugs to fill the inside of the Empire State Building. 6 million gallons would be used for synthetic rubber, creating enough tires to replace all four wheels on every car in Buffalo, New York. The remaining oil has thousands of uses, from heating your house to paving roads to creating the fibers in your sweater. The full environmental consequences of this bill remain unknown. Yet we do know how 205 million gallons of processed oil impacts our world. 15,000 tons of plastic created would never be recycled. 180,000 of the tires created would end up in landfills, and the CO2 emissions created from the use of the oil would be over 1.6 million tons, requiring a forest the size of San Francisco to offset. The 205 million gallons of oil lost in the Gulf is the same amount the United States consumes in less than seven hours. You can make a difference. Carry a thermos, limit your trips to the store, or find transportation alternatives. There is no low-impact solution when oil is involved.